Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Drew back again, finally, with another video for all you soccer fans out there. Uh, dude, what a crazy two weeks. Um, I know you guys have missed your boy Drew's videos, and I've missed uploading, but, you know, life happens. People have to work doubles sometimes, people go on vacation, uh, so that's what happened. I had to work a couple doubles, uh, and then I had to work, uh, I mean, then I went, to, went on vacation with the family. So this whole time, I'm like, dude, there's so many news dropping. I have no time to record. I was like, maybe I should just record on my phone in the car when I'm driving. But I want you guys to get the real personal Drew effect here. So that's why I haven't been uploading recently. But things are slowing down. No more vacation coming up. A lot of news to talk about. So let's talk about this first one. And that, of course, is the big one. The U.S. Men's National Team roster for the Nations League. Uh, I saw that the other day when it came out, and I was just like, I got to make a video on this. I've got to talk about this trash squad. And that's what we're going to do here. So kick back, relax, grab some snacks. And let's talk about it. So it's been a couple days since his roster has been out. So I'm sure you guys have already seen it, you know, from head to toe. Okay. You guys have seen it all. So I'm not going to go ahead and talk about every single player or go through every position. I'm just going to talk about the key things that I need to, that I need to talk about in this roster. First up, um, out of a, t out of a rating out of 10 for this roster, Give it a strong four. Um, and that's mainly because of the terrible people called up. You know, these players that don't deserve another call up. Players like Bill Trapp, Yazi Zardas. Like, dude, like, come on. The only prop I could give to Greg Berhalter in this one, of course, is Brendan Aronson, who's been really a great young prospect in MLS, who I think deserves this call up. So shout out to him. Uh, another good thing is Kristen Pulisic. Glad to see him. Called up because he's had lots of trouble in his, you know, his club team Chelsea in England trying to get some game time. So I was afraid, you know, Greg Berhalter might be a little prick and not call him up because he hasn't played recently. But Greg Berhalter's not that dumb. But he is pretty dumb, so because he's got players here like Michael Bradley, Brad Guzan, and Josie Altidore, and of course Will Trapp and Yazzie Um You know, the whole thing right now with USA is their ta their tagline is the future is US, and I get it, okay. But there's no future here. With Brad Guzan, Will Trapp and Yazzie Zardes, Michael Bradley, players like that. There's no future there at all. A, a tournament like this is very important. First of all, very important that we actually get another tournament, a competitive tournament to play in with our players as a group before, you know, World Cup qualifying. So we should, you know, take this kind of, um, these tournaments more seriously and, and, you know, use them better to really help grow the squad and help, you know, find new players to come into this t into this game, I mean, into this, this roster. Instead of going back to old players like Michael Bradley and Brad Guzan, look, Michael Bradley isn't even going to play in the next World Cup? I don't think so. Josie Aldor, probably not. He'll probably be injured. So why the hell are we calling him up if there's no future plans for them down the road? Like with players like Josh Sargent, um, freaking Ethan Horvath, who got a freaking snub for Brad Guzan. Like, players like that should be called up more often instead of these other ones. Like, Brad Guzan, is he going to make it to the World Cup? Probably, but probably not. You know, he's not going to be starting. It, if all goes according to plan, Zach Seven's going to be the number one starter, hopefully in this Nations League and hopefully for the World Cup. So why the fuck are we calling up Brad Guzan? For what reason? For what reason? There's no reason at all. He's making dumb decisions. If he's calling up these players for, like, leadership qualities, okay, I understand. But why do we have a bunch of them? Just have Michael Bradley. That's it. He can be the leader of the team. We don't need Josie Altaro. We don't need Will Trout. We don't need Brad Guzan. These players should be you know, phased out by now. And another big thing that really sucks with this roster is we don't have Serginio Dest, one of the most you know impressive young players coming in through the ranks, not just for USA but in Europe overall. Um, and you know the Netherlands are really pulling for him hard, trying to get him to you know change his you know playing nationality to play for you know the Netherlands instead of the USA. Now he did appear for the USA a couple times, but the Netherlands are coming in strong for him, and of course. This dude got wet feet. I mean, cold feet. <laughs> this guy got cold feet because uh, with the Nations League being a real FIFA, you know, competitive tournament, if he were to appear for the USA, he'd be cemented as a USA player, you know, for the rest of his career. And that's something he was like, you know what? Do I really want to commit to this, to this kind of project right now, or should I go to the Netherlands? Um, if I was him, I would probably choose the Dutch because, you know, the way the USA is going right now, the way the team's heading, the way... It's being managed by our Greg Berhalter. It doesn't look bright. It doesn't look like we'll actually get far in the World Cup. It doesn't look like we'll actually play well getting to the World Cup if we even make it. Uh, it also doesn't look like, you know, the future is pretty bright. I think it looks more like Greg Berhalter is set on using his 
you know, old school MLS players or any Columbus Crew fanboys, like, come on, like, I wouldn't blame Sergio Dest for not choosing USA because of the way the USA is currently. You know, the Dutch are also in a new rebuilding program, but they've got a brighter future than the US do. You know, the Netherlands have really great players coming up, like Frankie de Jong, uh, Mathis de Litt, and possibly Sergio Dest. Like, they've got lots of good players coming through the ranks, a better better squad than we will ever have in recent in recent years, but. I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm stressed out. This is going to be one of the worst, well, this is one of the worst rosters I've seen. You know, all credit to, you know, Josh Sargent for making it here. Uh, also, all credit to DeAndre Yedlin, who's finally back from injury. Um, that's why he hasn't been called up recently. I've seen a lot of people talk about Yedlin, where he's at, why we're we using Cannon, blah, blah, blah. Well, the reason is DeAndre, DeAndre Yedlin was injured. Now he's back. So he's probably going to be fighting Reggie Cannon for that, you know, number one right back spot, unless Greg Brother does some dumb shit again. And put Reggie Cannon on the left flank as a left back, which <laughs> get moron. Um, and another uh, you know weak point that we have in the USA is our strikers. You know, Josie Azor, trash. Yazzie Zardes, bigger trash. So we got Josh Sargent, who really needs some more confidence in him. He needs some more trust from the manager. You know, he's got the fan support, he's got his teammate support, but he needs Greg Brother to trust him more. That way, he can actually perform better on the field, and he needs to be starting games, not coming in the last 10 minutes of the game, trying to make a penalty with all this pressure on him. Like, come on. Come on, Greg Baralter. You, you can't, be, can't be doing that. Like, that's... I'm annoyed. Um, for the most part, the rest of the roster is amateur at best. Um, Christian Roldan. Will Trap. Uh, Weston McKinney, hopefully he actually performs well this time. You know, he is a big prospect for us, but last couple games, he really hasn't impressed me whatsoever. Like, at all. And I really hope he's not turned into, like, a flop. Um, I'm really missing Tyler Adams here because he's still injured and so is John Brooks. Both of them still recovering from big injuries, so that's why they're not on this list. And for the most part, um, we're fucked. That's it for me, though. Um, those are all my quick thoughts on this roster. You know, I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. Um, it feels really good to be back here talking to you guys about American soccer, talking to all you guys. Really hope to see more comments on this video like you have been commenting before. Some people are wondering where I was, but guess what? I'm back. Um, and tomorrow we're going to talk about some Christian Pulisic drama and whether or not he deserves a different team or a loan spell. Um, but before we do that, make sure you guys subscribe. Hit that like button as well. Let me know your thoughts down below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for kicking it with me. And I'll see you next time. Peace.